1 versus 1, 15k CWB. On the left here with Skippy Eye. In the blues we have King Tiger. <coughs> He's an independent. And on the right we have Paz's Kawika. He's decided to take gold. So that wasn't pre-arranged. He decided to just take that in the setup. And I think also Skippy Eye has broken CWB rules. So he's taken a couple more Irvins than he was supposed to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's in excess of the uh, 6 max same by 4 units. On the left here he's got <coughs> 5 Praetorian Cavs. He seems to have no upgrades in any of his units. So there's still a chance here for goal. And it looks like uh, Kawik is going in for a power charge here. And it looks like he's got some spearmen supporting, so it's going to be pretty devastating for the Cav if he hits them one on one. King Tiger doesn't seem to be using his uh, archers very well. <coughs> I should have them in formation firing now at the weakest, almost valuable unit. Got weakest war crime. He's going for a power charge on Skippy Eye's left flank. And they're going straight into a pit. So upgrades alone are going to be enough to beat those, even if the clip charge isn't executed the best. And he's got another two spearmen supporting there in the fight. She's going to get a strong cab bonus, especially with the upgrades. Seems like <clears throat> he wants to skip the old general. So he's engaged the front line, his war cry, <clears throat> and they might win out because of the upgrades one on one. Ideally, he could be flanking with this unit here, but I don't think he microed that as cleanly as he wanted to. And he'll probably pick off the weakest unit here, which is this one here. routed ones, it's going to affect the morale of the ones next to them. Ah, but it looks like Scipio has got a bit of a flank attack happening here. So Kawika should be slamming them from the rear as fast as possible, as powerful as possible. Selecting the weakest unit, then mass attacking. Mass attacking with his two remaining cavalry. He's got one rally back here, which he hasn't noticed either. So that was a uh, <coughs> clear win. But I think that was pretty risky business had his opponent brought upgrades. Sure, if Kawik has noticed this recharge coming in right here. He's turned to meet the charge with spearmen, so it shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> He's managed to route that unit. And it looks like the urbans are getting the edge here. So I'm not sure if Kawika played it softly then when he was behind his lines, but <clears throat> looks like it's backfired on him now. He's loaded, losing a lot of spam in here, plus the stupid arches, which is a very bad situation. And Kawika has exclaimed shit in frustration. So he doesn't have many units to work with now. And he's losing cavalry on every charge. Three cavalry left. He's got a fair few spearmen, but they're not really going to get <coughs> be that effective against swordsmen. Very low quality unit.
so the tides have turned and it looks like it's going to be a skippy I win. Good game. 